You know, I've received some comments or criticisms, depends on how you see it. Um, while I'm here at the World Cup, people have been saying that you know I haven't been working hard enough, or I don't look like I've been working hard enough. But you know what? I beg to differ, because I mean, okay, I feel part of my job, of course, is to of course always look presentable as well while I'm doing my work. But you know what? That's the whole point of all these video logs, anyway, right? Is to share behind the scenes of what exactly is happening on the job. And I tell you, it is not as so-called glamorous as it looks. I mean, yes, it's fun. It's fun that we get to see all the games and we get to, you know, meet players, ex-players, ex-managers. But that's just, I feel, the icing on the cake. All right? Now, baking the actual cake itself is not very easy. Um, for example, you know, we're traveling half the time from one stadium to another, one city to another. And like, you know, even for the England-Uruguay game, for example, we had to fly in, we took an early flight in the morning from Salvador to Sao Paulo, straight to the stadium. You know, we shot a lot of vlogs, a lot of promos and um, color stories with the fans and all that. And then right after the match, we had to fly back to Salvador. And that's just, you know, to give you an idea of what our day is like. But on top of that, that's, you know, on a smooth day, that's when everything is going well. But there have been times when you know, our tickets have been mistakenly given to other people and you know, we had to... That alone takes up you know, an hour just to figure out who took the tickets and then to try to convey to the organizers that look, we are actual right holders of the tickets. You know, things like that, it's just bits and pieces but you, know, you have to run everywhere. As you know, stadiums are not very small. And um, <clears throat> at the same time, at, there was one as well that our flight was rerouted. We were on our way from Sao Paulo to Salvador and apparently the Salvador airport, the traffic was so bad, um, congestion of you know, all the planes, so they actually rerouted us to this other airport, which I didn't even realize we did not reach Salvador until we were already on the ground. You know, like I was wondering why people weren't getting out of their seats. And then I realized that, hey, we're not in Salvador. And you know, I got a shock of my life. I felt like a little bit, a part of me was um, thinking that, you know, the, the series lost. That was just like crossing through my mind but yeah so you know things like that happen on a daily basis and like i said you know we're constantly traveling constantly on the move and like right now i'm trying to upload a video on youtube as well because i do control most of the social media i think someone just scored in a game but yeah so you know all these things considered it's not an easy job but looking good is part of the job as well so yeah you know those of you who have said some things to me, you know who you are, this is for you, okay? 